Greetings, boils and ghouls, and welcome back to Monster Island for a Halloween special. <laughs> uh, well, I tried. Hi, welcome back, folks. We have some things to talk about, some interesting things to say. The least? Well, let's go ahead and show some of these stuff off. First of which is something I forgot to show you, I think, for the first part, and it's this here. This is the in-game app icon. So this is what you would see in the game when it kind of pops in here. Now, the other thing about this is that there was another one that kind of popped in at some point too, and it's this one here. So instead of having Amy, it's actually Pixie. Which, you know, Pixie is the selling guy. He can't have help without having him be there. But the strangest thing happened at some point too. At some point, during the whole update thing we got this pop-up where instead of saying match island it says her oasis escape to match island so i'm wondering if they just changed the name all of a sudden because of trying to get the branding out there something tells me that seems to be the case but i don't know i just thought it was interesting to point it out anyways uh there's two posts here i wanted to highlight First one's this. Hashtag Amy. I'm so excited because our new hashtag Halloween event is here. New stories, skins, and more. Play now. And it just has Amy without Gabe in the background. And then the other one is this here with his ugh, vampire prudence and witch Amy. Which is these two are so ready to compete. Who will win having the best decorations for the Halloween? Which is funny. Uh, you know, if only they wore those costumes during that co that conversation, but no, sadly they did not. I don't know why they didn't, but they didn't, so yeah, I guess that's just how it goes. So anyways, let's jump into the gameplay here. The last we left off was somewhere around October the 15th, and while we're at it, we're going to continue on with the first of these new quest lines. So here we go, folks. Cool. Now there you all are! I've been worried sick! I couldn't find anyone anywhere! Oh my, a Halloween bonfire? That looks like fun! Have I told you about my creepy cousin Gabe? He actually tried to take my job from me! He wanted to supervise Match Island himself, and he almost got the job! Are you saying he was... waiting in the wings? Ha ha ha! Very funny! But it's no laughing matter, mister! He was actually planning on turning Match Island into a monster island! Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. But it's no laughing matter, mister. He was actually planning on turning Match Island into a monster island. Uh, what What in God's name is this? Did Amy supposed to do something here? I, I think so. Uh, okay, well that's fun. My guess was it was supposed to be like, hmm, really monster island? I wonder what that would be like. And you're gonna see why. Because, spoiler alert, this is taking place as a what-if scenario. What if Gabe ended up running the show? Well, you get this scenario. I don't know how the heck this happened, but, uh, well, here it is. Ah, what a lovely summer day in Monster Eyes. Hold on a minute, I'm a witch. I don't think I care for sunny days. Oh, what a horrid sunny day in Monster Island. I should get my deliveries ready for today. Where is my hairy associate, Hugsley? I'm here. Uh, but what do you mean by hairy? Well, you're a werewolf, so you're kind of hairy. I'm a... Uh, I'm a what?! <laughs> Welcome to Monster Island. Have Hugsley freak out that he's a monster. And what's funny is that they're in costume... Oh, no, not yet. But they will be in costume very soon because I'm going to get the pass. But here's the thing about this interest... What, what is interesting about this is the fact that... Okay, well, that's kind of weird. Um, cool. Yeah, this. We can get this for coins. So, of course, I unlocked it. Thank you, game, for giving me this for coins. So now, let's go over here, being scared of his own reflection. So this is the animation here, and we're going to take a zoom in on this, because it's actually a kind of funny animation. Him being a wolfman of sorts. Kind of, not really a whole wolfman. I mean, he is, actually, no, he is a wolfman. He's not like actual anthro-wolf. He's more, more man, hairy wolf. I, I don't know. He has the teeth and everything, but you get to see the picture. He looks at himself, he... 
he freaks out and then he has almost has a, a heart attack going on there. <laughs> I feel so sorry for the guy. He's just always so finicky and panicky and all that stuff. It just it must suck. I will say I feel bad for Pugsley. Hugsley. Wrong game. They both have the same name. They just changed the H to a P. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah. Um, speaking of, like this, and she also has things for coins. So, of course, I did that as well. Did you like my witch voice for her, by the way? I thought it was fun. All right. We need the witch cauldron for her. That makes sense. She has to interact with it. It's not here. I wonder where it is. I also noticed there's like coffee and latte store. What is this? Coffee and latte store. That's new. Two fifty, by the way. Ooh. I mean, it's nice, but I don't think it's two fifty nice. Just saying. Just. Ugh. Oh well. Yeah, it tastes there. And um, here's the strangest thing I've noticed, folks. When I'm talking to people, I have no problems. When I'm doing recordings, like on the phone, no problems. As soon as I do recordings for this and make commentary with talking to the microphone here and post editing and adding the stuff here as commentary for the gameplay, I yawn. It's a signature yawn. Don't know why. It is so weird. So bizarre. But it works for what it is. But anyways, we're going to have her do her talking on the phone as a witch still broken by the way oh thanks man you, you, you yeah good job go away I want to see this close up as if we haven't seen this many times before but yeah there's her in her green skin outfit you know what I'm gonna say this right now as a witch she actually looks pretty good like I love the pink hair it kind of fits her you know, he's like, oh, I'm black hair. But no, pink hair kind of makes her stand out. Makes her really fruity, if that makes sense. Like, fruity as in the sense of, like, you know, bubblegum. It's like a bubblegum flavor or something like that. Oh, yeah, and there's this gimmick of the Gold Pass tryout here. So this top part is available for everybody. So, yeah. And he has this much for Okay. And I don't see an animation with him. Mm -hmm. Weird. I wonder if it's connected to like an... It might be connected to an item or something. But, or maybe it could be connected to... Pick Ooh, wow. That... Okay. Well, that's an interesting animation. I like the pumpkin blowing up. I didn't see much animation with the other boxes. But this one... Man, they really went all out. But yeah, the gold ticket access pass. So we're going to get this baby... And get the ghost costumes for the boys. So then we have three of the costumes ready to go. But I guess not yet. Soon. But not yet. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to do this first and unlock. Uh. Item. I'm sorry. I'm blanking out because I'm yawning a bunch of times. I, I don't mean it to be that way. But you know. It's just the nature of the beast. Anywho, we got this going on for ourselves, and with that in mind, I think we should also go take a break in a minute. That's a bit of a break, but yeah, there's a highlight. This is the item I got in this thing. Right here, this rocking horse. Nice. It'll be useful eventually later on, but not now. Anyways, be right Welcome back from the break. Third time's a charm, am I right, Hugsley? Let's just go ahead and continue this. Hugsley, put yourself together, man. I mean, wolf. I mean, wolf man. Werewolf of London. <laughs> it's just... Werewolves are really scary. I mean, they're not human or wolves, so you can't really know if they... Hugs. You're the werewolf. Wolf up. Right, I'm just... Yeah, uh, just to find mirrors is all. I'm with you on that, mate. Oh my god, Prudence is there. Might be wondering, what do I mean third time's a term? Well, I tried recording the beginning part twice now, and this is the third recording. So, yeah, that that's why. Anyways. Excellent! Now we have our very own fruit gift baskets. I can't believe how much we've grown. 
And I can't believe Prudence is giving all of this to my mother. This is my success. Um, Alright, don't give me that look. I know I said yesterday I started this business because of her. <sighs> Alright, I forgot to mention we're also going to be finishing the call quest line and start the next one, which will be going into part 3. So in this part, we're going to be finishing off the quest line for the Halloween stuff, and then in part 3, we'll continue on with the main storyline, meeting it into a new character, as well as the new Halloween exclusive character, who is Gabe. And I remember what, looking at him the first time, and I thought, oh, is that Pixie's new costume? Only to find out, no, that's Pixie cousin Gabe. And he's like, who's Gabe? And I'm just, you know, I had to zoom in after realizing the fact, but back then it was like me stupid. Me didn't put the two together back in the day, but uh, it's what it is. Uh, right. So, with that in mind, I, uh, you know, I actually think I dig the... I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm stumbling here. I'm sorry. I kind of like how I did the icon for the Match Island logo. I Mind you, I kind of just took the assets from the game and kind of put it in here. But, you know, I think it works for it. I mean, I don't know why they didn't do exclusives, man. Oh, hello there, my fang friend. Fancy seeing you in the walking in the sunshine. What can I say? Your sun-bearing potion was a huge success. It's actually the only way a vampire can live on an island like this. You're, you're a vampire?! Yeah, Hugs, I am. You're nervous. We've lived on Monster Island for a while now. The weather is the worst, but you get the best blood around here. God! God! I think I'm hyperventilating! Let's get to work, Hugs. Getting things ready for the delivery should ease you up. Yeah, so now we're at a roadblock. We need the Witch Cauldron, and it's going to take us a way while to get to that point. And, yeah, just to show you a point, yeah, level 14. So it's going to be a little while for that one. Still the 15th, by the way. Going quickly on these. Alright, I guess it's time to do this once and for all, right? I just need to find a phone. I have no idea where to find one. Maybe I'll just hang on a while longer until she writes back. Oh, don't worry, Amy. I fixed that up just for you. And I also got you a smoothie, so, uh, here, in the joy. Oh. You found a phone. Hey, and you remembered about the bananas and the apple smoothie to cheer me up. Alright, let's do this. Alright, here we go. They're gonna talk to each other first time. So I guess that's what I've been doing here. I'm pretty proud of what I've achieved. That's good, hon. So what's the next step? Um, the next step? I've already got too much on my plate. Uh... Okay, sweetie. I'm just saying, you could do a bit more than just sell juice, couldn't you? I mean, you did that when you were five. I'm sure almost 20 years later you could aim a little higher. I aim a little higher? You know what, Mom? That's enough! You've been belittling my achievements for too long already! Uh-oh, trouble in paradise, uh, but... Man, it's just getting the DRAMA! <laughs> We've gotta be careful, because if not, this is gonna turn into Drama Island. <laughs> At least it's not gonna be totally a drama island. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Last thing we need is a guy coming in to be like, Hey, we're gonna do a show. And we'll film it for TV! Nah, we don't need that here. We got too much of that. But yeah. A drama island. <laughs> it's filled with all sorts of goodies, in a sense. And, uh, yeah. We gotta get this done. Oh, and we got this pack, too. With Amy looking like she needs to pee, according to Hellgear. <laughs> oh, God. I love that. Oh, yeah, and him doing it. God. Look at these two. Him kissing his muscles and him just kind of... Sun I know I joked uh, part three about me kind of going, ooh. Huh? <laughs> like, I was... I was joke. I'm tired. I was tired then. I'm... I guess, I guess I'm tired now. I don't know. I'm... I'm just rambling on. We just need the pixie pumpkin in order to continue with this quest. And I think I have enough now. So now we can go ahead and continue on finishing this. Awesome start, Grim. But we need to keep going. 
I'm gonna have the best Halloween house in all of Match Island. Actually, why dream small? Let's decorate the whole island! Hello, Amy! I really like that pumpkin of yours! Woohoo! Hey, Grim! Grim! Come here! I need your help! Amy can't hear us, but why don't you give me a hand with the whole Halloween thing? I saw her making a sort of a pixie pumpkin or something already, and I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. But let's show her how it's done in the big leagues, right? I'm thinking of a huge pumpkin archway. She'll see. I love how these two are like, oh, we're going to be, like, competing with one another, and at the end of the day, it's basically, hey, Grim, you do this. And I'm just like, yeah, great, thanks. More work for me. Oh, and I finally bought the thing after a while. Oh, I bought this. I bought the decoration pack because I don't know why. I could have bought this, but I didn't want to do that. Oh, never mind. I bought that too. Oh, yeah, and you get to hear the little the little jingle I talked about with the whole, you know, it's hard to explain, but you probably heard a little bit of it. But, yeah, we got a whole bunch of this stuff here. So we get to claim stuff like the pumpkin here, which is cool. Uh, get this cool thing, and this, uh, yeah, in the, in the broom, um, thing, shop, yeah, so we got a whole bunch, we're gonna turn this area into spooky place, and I have enough coins, by the way, to continue on with this, so let's put this archway down, yep, and here's these coins, so let's put this down, and, uh, finish this quest off. Awesome! She wants to know what hit her! You know, I look like this collected, mature person, but I can get quite competitive sometimes. Really? I didn't see you being that kind of such a character, but, uh, oh, yeah, I might as well move this up here, because I'm going to decorate everything over here. It just, hopefully, I'm just working with Amy and Prudence at this point in a competition. I'm just hoping that Amy doesn't find out that, uh, I ended up helping her in this case. That's folks is what we call. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's what we call foreshadowing, folks. Because that's exactly what's gonna happen. Oh boy, of course. But hey, again, it wouldn't be Drama Island without some truthy crap. Who oh, am I tired? Come on, it's Halloween. Be spooks. I stay up all night for this. And this is the thanks I- Grim? Prude? What are you doing together? Oh, um, we're just, uh... Grim! You were helping her out, weren't you? Alright, no one said anything about doing anything by yourself. Technically, I didn't do anything wrong here. Right. You needed help, didn't you? Because you knew I was going to do so much better than you. That's just not true. We were on a roll here, weren't we, Grim? Hey, don't bring me into this. This is your mess. Yeah, I mean, I'm helping you. I mean, I'm, I actually I have to force myself to do some of the stuff, but still, I don't know why you forced me to do this. And by the way, during this time here, um, instead of doing the put decoration down, I actually just have to um, play match puzzles, so I guess not too bad. Well, that was rough. I think that's the first time I told my mom off. James? Oh. Hi. Look, Prude, I'm already fallen out. I have no energy to argue with you, too. I'm not here to fight. I've been thinking, and I guess I wasn't so clear when we talked before. Aw, oh, they're gonna be bonding together. She's like a mom. So, all I'm saying is, I'm not trying to rob you of your achievements. I know all you did here in Match Island is only for you to think. Huh. Not only me. I couldn't have done it with your advice, you know? And I really couldn't have done it without Huxley. I think I owe him an apology. And I'm sorry about what I said before. I'm actually happy about your pregnancy. You know that, right? Yeah, Ames. I know. Aw, they're bonding. And have Hugsley do a thing, which he's kind of busy right now, freaking out. Alright, you're done with that. Do the, um, what were you supposed to do? Do this. Making, yeah, ma making spaghettis. 
Mmm, spaghetti! And then I have to get three soaps. That he only makes, by the way. And then after such, then, and only then, <laughs> like, that's what I don't get. It's like the character wants me to give him soap. The soap that he makes, by the way, three of them. He just gives them to me, and then I sell it back to him, and he gives me money in exchange. This system's whack, man. I, I can't think of anything. Anyways, the boys have a new costume, right? Yeah, the goo, the goo, ooh, spooky. I love how Jim and Jake's skin is a little bit different. So it's like Jim's more blue and Jake's more gray. And this is the thing, spooky. Right, so this is what they do. Kind of laughing. Goes, boo! Ah! Or he's like, oh, yeah, well, boo! Ha! Ah! <laughs> they're laughing at, they're scaring each other and they're laughing at the fact. I love that. I love this. Amy, hey, please move. Thank you. Yeah, so, again, having fun spooking practice. And by, by the way, at some point in the dialogue, I won't point it out just yet. I'll wait until the dialogue comes in, and then I'll point it out. But I have to say, this quest line is, uh, really slow. Like, really slow. How slow? I mean, not slow. I'm sorry, quick. It goes by too quickly. How quickly? Well, we're now on the 16th, so a day later, and I'm kind of already finishing the stuff off, so... Yeah, and, um, it gets, it gets a lot more than, um, you'll see. I guess I should put these down, right? So, I got some pumpkins, got, you know, so I put this pumpkin down, I guess put it here as a, as a block of sorts. Yeah, block the block the flower hmm I'll put it here for now I guess uh, let's see I guess move this uh, yeah I think I'll do this um, game can I move this one yeah put this here cool and um, so we got this spooky hill that's Kind of run the mist. They must have gotten inspired from the um, nightmare on um, before Christmas. Oh, and I love this. They got this creepy sand build there because, of course, it's the beach, so you need to make it spooky. Ooh, you know. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. This looks like something from the nightmare on uh, before Christmas. I was gonna say nightmare on Elm Street. No, nightmare before Christmas, doesn't it? The hill and everything. I, I'm assuming. I I swear that this is what it's based off of. Because what other hill looks like that? None. None hill. No hill looks like this. <laughs> Besides the one from Tim Burton Land. Anyways, we still got a way to go. So still got to continue on with the quest line there. But yeah, I'm you know. You know, I'm going to say this right now. I know this is going to be a controversial, Pixie, but I wouldn't mind if Gabe actually turned this to Monster Island. A another spooky game? P crafting thing? Yeah, sign me up! I'd love to have such a thing like that. Gabe would be my type of guy. I mean, I'm wondering if he's my type of guy. I guess I'm going to have to find out once he comes into the island. And to tell you the truth, I think I have the perfect voice I'm going to give him. You might be wondering... What voice? Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and find out in part three, won't you? That and another character is also going to be showcased as well. Uh, okay, so interesting. Uh, can I flip it, I wonder? Hmm. I'll figure something out. Mm, I guess put it there for now. I'll figure, I'll figure something and I'll make it work. Yeah, I'll make it work once I get everything down. And we got the broom, um, place. Where you sell your cleaning supplies. And your many brooms and dustpans that you can fly with. Hey, no judging here. I mean, some people even use vacuum cleaners to fly around. Whatever works for you, man. That's all it only be. Hmm. I guess, put it here for now, I guess. Yeah, I'm just trying to 
I'm gonna move a lot of these stuff around until I get a nice uh, ice I'm gonna tell you this right now once this ends I got the area nice and cleaned up and I think I I dig what it looks like so I think you will too it's just my opinion yeah I'm I'm just saying blame my god why am I why do I it's spooky month I'm supposed to be into the joy and then making me sound bored and I'm not it's annoying it's so annoying I'm frustrated by this I'm going mad as you can tell oh good we got another pumpkin we can open that up see what's in store for an old grimy boy open this up blow it up oh bucket I mean yeah buckets okay but I want costumes but no costumes for me Oh, but I do get some coins and point and pumpkin points, so that's cool. That's always nice that that have there. Anyways, here we go. Hey, hold on a minute. I think we've lost track of what we actually wanted to do. Have some fun and make the island Halloweeny. Yeah, you're right. And actually, I have to confess, Grim gave me a hand too. It's ironic, isn't it? A Halloween has us turned into monsters. It is kind of funny, isn't it? Hey, how about the three of us stop competing and start working together as a team to finish decorating the island? In other words, me doing everything. And yeah, that's the end of that quest. So, wasn't that great? Wasn't that a short, like, you know, that, that barely anything happened. It was just like, ah, I could do a thing and then, oh, we're, let's, let's, let's be together now. Yay, friendship. All because Grimm decorates islands for me. Yay, we just put a pumpkin down, some arches, good enough. Right, and um, yeah, and yeah. By the way, we're gonna get Bryce very soon. I remember I think I was having difficulty trying to figure out what his name was, but yeah, it's Bryce. Oh yeah, and by the way, something glitchy is going on with this um, this particular uh, update thing. Now, normally you're allowed to buy multiple items, I believe, of these, right? Sometimes, but for some reason. Once you place these items down, and you log off and come back in, that item's gone. It just disappears. So your progression bar just goes back and resets. So every time it just kind of jumps from 0 to like going into 100, which is ridiculous. I don't think you win the prize. Like once you win a box from that prize section, you don't win another box, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so this is a nice candy house. But yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So, like, it's there, right? But then I come back, and it'll disappear. I believe this is the... Yeah, I think this is the update, because... Normally... It's supposed to stick around. Like it did back in the... First time we saw this, which was back in August. But, for some reason... It just doesn't this time. I don't know why. It's weird. This is the first time, by the way, they're doing a mega event, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see how this time it turns out. Still on the 16th, and we finally, finally, got that Witch Cauldron. So that means we get to see Ailey do an animation, and also finish the main story to this Halloween adventure off. And it will continue, by the way, once we get Gabe. Which I believe this is why it's so short, is because they're separating that with Gabe's stuff. I think that's what's going on here. I think that's why it's so short. I don't know. It's weird. I have to think about this. Anyways, with that pondering, I'm going to put this down here. And we we can't really do anything with Amy right now because she's busy with stuff. So, we'll put, I was going to put this down next to the turtle soup bowl. No, I'm going to put it over here with the other halloween -y stuff because might as well. So, yeah. Got this down. And we're going to be continuing with this once after we come back from the break. So, be right back once again. Okay, we're back again. And hopefully not for the thousandth time. It is the first time. So, fingers crossed this works this time around. I think it does, but anyways. Now we're going to have Amy do her thing because she's free now. So, this is what she does. She puts an apple, some poison, that. She rings it around and she goes, <laughs> you know, has her evil, evil witchy laugh. So apple, that, oh, an octopus tentacle, that's what it is. 
I mean, it looks like it's she's summoning Cthulhu with that tentacle stuff. It's like, why, why is she cooking octopus, man? What did the octopus do to you? You know, is this, is this because you saw Pixie kill the turtle? By the way, I've never. I, is turtle soup an actual thing? I've heard of. I've heard the like. I'm, you know, like Shredder's like, I'm gonna make you turn. I'm gonna turn you into turtle soup, right? But is that really a thing? You know what? I'm curious. I'm okay. Now we have vampire costume here, which is cool. She looks cool, very pale, but it works. Anyways, uh, show her teeth. Woo! <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Woo! Look at that. She goes bleh, and then bats fly out behind her. You know what? I think she's my favorite character. She got me bats. I love me bats. Love them. All right, so let's see if this is an actual thing. It, it is an actual thing. There is such a thing as turtle soup. What the? Oh, my God. And they, they even, some of them have the shell in there, too. Like, why? The poor turtle. What did it do to you? I don't know. Here I am eating, like, chickens and one. I don't care. But turtles? Oh, that's, that's going way too far. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. So the thing's gone now. Like, what the what, what happened here? Right? And then put this down. And then the bar is going to go way up high. Like, put this down here. Yeah. And then they'll disappear again. Which is weird. So, the bar works at whatever percentage it's on here right now. So, yeah, it's very odd. It's supposed to buy multiples, like the pumpkins. But, no, you only buy the one. Which is very, very odd. Alright. We've got all the potions for the day. Okay. So, what do we do now? We keep going with our plan, of course. What plan? Why, turn the rest of the Islanders into monsters, as Gabe requested. Yeah, um, it's something else entirely. And also, we're going to be finishing off this quest line, too. So I brought you three soaps for your collection as a way of saying I'm sorry. I promise I'll try to pay more attention to your ideas in the future. After all, we're associates, aren't we? That's what associates do. You gotta hate how it jumps from one quest line to the other. It's like such a whiplash. Turning Islanders into monsters? What? I don't get what's going on around here. Isn't this Match Island? <sighs> Hugs, we're in a hypothetical situation. This is a scenario. Play with it. Have fun. All you have to do is deliver the monster brews to Jim and Jake so we can transform them. And then we can end this hypothetical situation and get back to reality? Alright, Hugs. We can. Yeah, that sucks. I need two apples to finish this quest off, so that's pretty easy. Anyways, I think we should get the spirit of things. Right, guys? I say we spice things up in the tourist district and give Match Island a place to party. What do you think, Grim? I say we give Pixie a reason to hula. You got, oh, we got a place to club down. Oh, yeah, we're going to make Pixie dance. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see him dance. Just like he, what he advertised in the summertime, but we never got the animation for, which kind of sucked. But, hey, we're going to probably see it now, maybe. Him doing the, the disco hand thing. You know what I mean, the, the, the typical dance move you usually see from disco. Um, besides that, though, yeah... Remember when I mentioned about the whole weird thing? Yep. Yeah. That's what I was talking about with, Oh, we're gonna turn Jim and Jake into monsters. So, Jim and Jake is ghosts with sheets. Okay, yeah. that That's monsters indeed. <sighs> you know, not turning Bob into a Frankenstein monster or Pixie into the scientists that made him. Or, God, Mummy um, Sama. Like, those are the three characters that get stuff, by the way. Oh, yeah, and I can buy multiple of these, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these down here. Going to have fun with it, so it makes it look like an actual dance floor. Or at least try to. Yeah. Hey, you. Oh, yeah. Two hours. I got a lot of coins, though, so that's going to work out for me. But, yeah, a bunch of this. So, that's... So it seems to be it for now. Hmm. Because we got lots to go for and do. And we've actually accomplished a whole lot. For, like, for just only two days or so. 
And yeah, I'm moving this stuff over here because I think it's better because it's a lot more closed space. And I believe I can actually... Now, I don't know if I can move it when it's being constructed. I don't think I can. So it's going to be one of those move it once it's done. But let's see if I can. I don't think so. Okay, so I guess we'll have to deal with that when it comes in here. Anyways, the apples are done, so let's finish this off. Well, that story was a total bust. I thought it was terrifying. I mean, if I were a rare wolf, how would I run away from myself? You wouldn't, Hugs. That's what I keep saying. If you were a werewolf, you wouldn't be scared of yourself. I just can't picture it. It's petrifying. Well, if you thought that was scary, I can't imagine what you'd do if you actually met my cousin Gabe. I mean, God forbid if he does show up. Which he will show up once we get to level 40. <laughs> oh, lordy lordy, guess who's at 40 40? <laughs> <laughs> yep, there he is. Oh, I can't wait to have him be there, man. I cannot wait. But, yeah, there you go. Gabe, my man. My man, Gabe. I can't wait to summon him into the game. And we're going to go into the 17th now. Oh, and he, she has this. Oh, by the way, one last thing here before we continue. Okay, I opened up the spooky box. Why am I, get, why am I getting Summertime Pixie? I don't need him. I already got that. Uh, also, th the main reason <laughs> I'm making this video is uh, because I've noticed uh, every time I put an item down, it just disappears. Like, uh, it used to be the coins disappearing, but now it's like, you know, Pumpkin 1, where is that, you know? I put this down here, look, there it is, there's Pumpkin 1, yet every time I put an item down, it just it just disappears from the map. So, my only fear is if I put the last item down... Will it go all the way to the end here, or is that, like, bugged permanently? Like, is it only recognizing how much is here for the progression bar? Or is there a set percentage, right? Well, I've already put up the, the, the errors to the team, so we'll see whether or not during this playthrough if they fix it. But, uh, fingers crossed. It's basically making me feel like uh, how Amy is right over here. That's terrified. Love what you've done with the place, Grim! Take a look at this dance floor! Now that's what I call a party animal! Alright, you two! Stop it! Now! Yes, I'm an owl, but that's no joking matter! It's just who I am! Alright, man, calm down. We were just teasing. Yeah, you shouldn't even give a hoot. You just signed your death warrant! Oh, I love Pixie, man. I love voicing the the little bird. Man, he's fun. And Jim and Jake is just pulling his legs. You're a cool Pixie. I love you. We love you, Pixie. You're the man. You're my man. Wow, what a day. I'm really glad I cleared things up with fruit and hugs. And I'm even glad I told my mom off, even though it wasn't pleasant. Hey, what's that thing by the sidewalk? Dear Mom, I'm sorry I haven't written in so long. Ever since I moved to Magic Island and the laws have changed in the way I see the world, I have come to realize that what I saw as constant nagging and pressure was just you doing what you could in order to... In order to what? Hey, where's the other half? A letter from August 5th, 25th, 1988, huh? Hmm, I wonder what the island is telling you, Amy. Oh, and her thing is bugged with the hands not green. Instead, it's, you know, it's it's what it is. But yeah, um, gee, gee, I wonder who wrote that. And I wonder why the island decided to just show it to you, right? And this is a weird thing, too, by the way. We know for sure Sama was a part of the island. We don't know anyone else, but then we also know that Amy's mom was once here before, and that's most likely Amy's mom, and it's like past living back once again. In fact, that's what Sama was hinting at, was like Amy's basically following in her mom's footstep, whether she knows it or not. And one of the interesting things about this is what's going to end up happening for the progression line. And um, later on, we might know more. It's so weird, Grim. Uh, the 
the handwritten on that letter looked awfully familiar. I'm so curious about the other half of that letter. I feel like the person writing had something to say to me. This must have been a letter one of the old islanders wrote. Who were these people? Why did they leave Match Island? Now what I don't understand is that Amy- oh, and there we go, we unlocked Bryce's bakery. The Staff of Life. Um, we're gonna continue on with this, but I also want to continue talking about something here, which is the fact that, believe it or not, which is weird, which I found funny, interesting even, is the fact that when it comes to the story, I'm curious why Ju like Amy's mom didn't say, oh, by the way, I used to be there as well, like the island. I don't know if she knows that that's the same island she went into just yet. I don't think it is. But it'll be interesting to kind of see where the story kind of goes from here. Now, something tells me that Sama is going to be telling her what might be going on. But I think for the most part, he can't really say, like, again, the island works in mysterious ways. And one of the things that happened is that apparently... They can't say anything until the island decides to say it's time for you to tell, right? So, for instance, her Amy finding out pictures and stuff like that, that's when she's kind of discovering, wait a minute, maybe my mom was here before. Ah, oh, Amy, Grim, I was hoping to bump into you today. Good day, sir. I'm sorry to bother. We just have a few questions. No bother at all, miss. I was hoping to see you, in fact. I've just developed a new pastime, and I thought Grim could give me a hand to make something of it. His pastime, by the way, is making sushi. Now I need to make a truck for him. Yeah, so in case you don't know if he's Japanese or not, there you go. Just, I love how they have to make it seem like, where do these people come from? And when it comes to Sama, it's like, up oh, Japanese. He's an old Japanese man. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's interesting. I, I love that some of the character designs they got going on here. And I already showed you the whole cutting, the sushi stuff. So, yeah, that's, a, that's an old, um, that seems to be a pattern now when it comes to that type of stuff. Where, for some reason the animation we've seen before but again I gotta show it because just in case you know and I guess you know what yeah let's put your Suzy truck over here because uh, I can't for the life of me think where else yeah there you go Ooh, two hours again of a wait okay and how much is for him again I don't know it's for a while won't be for a while, but yeah, we're unlocking Bryce. And in the next update, we're actually going to get this stuff. Which I'm curious of what this is. I, it says it's a scene, which I'm wondering how that's going to work. Like, is that like Snoopy kind of scene? Or like, what exactly? I'm wondering. Curious. Makes you wonder. Indeed. God, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you might be wondering what the hell that weird sound was. Okay, so this is a weird thing. Uh, I was getting the hiccups, and I found out if I made a certain sound, that stops the hiccups. Because what's going on is when I make that sound, it's putting pressure on my diaphragm. Because the way you hiccup is because it's a reaction of your muscle, your breathing in and out muscles, like spazzing. So this kind of is kind of resetting it. A lot of people be like, oh, you, you, you know, go boo and spook them or you drink water and whatnot. But for me, I found me doing that certain tone of voice, making that weird noise, does somehow just stops the hiccups. So I found out the the tempo, the, the, right, the right volume and the right pitch that kind of make the hiccup go, nope, no more hiccup. So very, I know, very weird. That was very weird. First time you ever heard that, but now now you know how does Grim get rid of the hiccups? He makes a weird noise. What's that noise exactly? Oh, let me show you. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it right now. <laughs> I have to get the hiccups in order to do it. So, yeah, there we go. Sounds like an old man like screaming for help. <laughs> help me! 
All right, yeah, I'm having too much fun with this. See, now I'm awake. Yeah, so here we go. Scientific costume. He has something here. Oh, and he also has the baking stuff. And she has something for her style. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, well, now we know something in the future is going to come up here. All right. Uh, oh, God. How is it taking so long? Anyways. It's now the 18th, so we got 15, 16, 17, 18, so three days this has been taking on. Oh good, we're at max level, that's perfect. I guess, I still have the gold apple by the way, don't know where the hell that came from or what the whole purpose of it is. Maybe it'll explain it at some point, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what can I do to, I guess, yeah, let's get rid of this. Alright, now he's freed up and he can continue on, so let, let's go ahead. Thank you, Grim. Finally, my ten years of practicing to become a sushi master are put into use. Ten years of practice? Didn't you say it was a pastime? Why, yes. A lot of time has passed since I trained to become an Itame. I hope I said that word correctly. So, sir, uh, we actually here because we have some questions. Ah, uh, yes. People often do. And for some reason, I honestly can't tell why, they tend to come to me for answers. I'm afraid, though, I am not as much of an answers man. See, answers have a nasty habit and they just can't shake off. Every time they show themselves to us, they tend to open up ten more questions. And they're like lanterns. As you turn them on, they light up not only what lies beneath your feet, but what lies ahead, too. Listen, old man, do you know what we need to talk about or not? Ah, <laughs> oh, God, they're gonna have him do this two times, so he's gonna be busy with that. But yeah, old man here, who's just like, Ah, oh, yes, ah, oh, yes, don't worry about it. And this, No, no, buddy. And this is him doing this in his monster form, so that's cool. Right, um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about that, but uh, that's his life, right? And anyways, yeah, again, reset it, just like my, my past self said, so, kind of fun. Uh, by the way, they did not fix this, if you're curious, and yes, this thing does uh, only look at what's in the progression bar. So once you get to, basically, once everything is done, that's when it just goes to 100% and it just assumes you just complete everything. So, very, very weird it's very stupid, but I don't know, man. Oh my god, look at the points I got for this. Wow, that's cool. Don't know how well I did, but I did something. Oh look, I got the bathing suit again. Yay! Prudence can go in her bathing suit now. But she's kind of busy doing this right now, but that's okay. But yeah, now she could be in her bathing suit like she did back in the beta. In the beta! But... Yeah. Oh, we got this costume too. Him and his Frankenstein outfit. That's cool. Cool. Now we can have him dressed up as a... Oh, great. He's also busy with that too. I guess we're going to have to wait for the next episode. Yeah, because after that, that's it. So that's it for that. So you get to learn the story of this progression type stuff. And in part three, we are going to be continuing on with the main quest line story. Maybe learn a bit more about what's going on with um, the island. And the new character coming in, which is going to be Bryce, the baker of sorts. And I'm wondering what his deal is, why he's coming to the thing. And not only that, but we're also going to meet Pix, uh, Pixie's cousin, Gabe. And I'm wondering how he's like. I wonder if he's as bad as Pixie says, or if Pixie's overreacting and he's just a chill dude who just happens to like creepy stuff. I don't know. Right? Maybe he's just one of those guys who's just like, ah, oh, hot topic everywhere. Hot, hot topic everywhere. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil the voice just yet. I want you to be surprised when you hear the voice. Because I, I, I took inspiration to a particular brand. You, you'll know when you hear it, but I kind of am loving what I did here. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, so I'll take it from there. Um, so, yeah, this has been part two to the Halloween update for Match Island. So until then... Uh, yeah, we'll get to see what goes on, and, um, actually, 
maybe it's her oasis now i don't know it's match island her oasis i don't know maybe at some point they can tell us what's going on here but uh until then maybe it's the uh, oh oh it's a mystery it's a spookiness that's the ooh, you don't know what it is gonna be i'll see you in part three have fun with monster island then it was nice while it lasted